Former rogue star Vicky Gunvalson threw major shade at her ex, Steve Lodge, after learning he's already engaged to another woman. Real Housewives of Orange County alum Vicky Gunvalson doesn't seem to be too faced by ex Steve Lodge's engagement news. Just hours after people revealed that Vicky's former fiancé had gotten engaged again, just three months after their split, she reacted by throwing some shade his way. He's a fame whore and is all about staying relevant, Vicky told Us Weekly on January 3, shortly after learning the news. She also said that she is in no rush to start dating right now. I've gone out with some friends, but have no desire to do what he's doing. Marriage is a sacred thing. Earlier in the day, Steve, 63, told Us Weekly that he plans on marrying his new fiancée, Janice Carlson, 37, in April. We are completely head over heels in love and can't wait to be husband and wife. Janice is a beautiful person, inside and out, he continued, we have incredible chemistry, we're very compatible, emotionally connected and have mutual respect for each other. We are equally yoked and look forward to happiness. Related Gallery Real Housewives stars in bikinis, see photos of Luan de Lesseps and more. He also told People, I did ask Janice on December 20th if she would become Mrs. Steve Chavez Lodge, and she happily agreed. We will be married in April 2022. We are both very excited, incredibly happy, totally in love and look forward to our life together. As Roke fans should recall, Vicky and Steve parted ways in September 2021, after a two-year engagement. She claimed he cheated, and he denied the accusation. Following Steve's big reveal on January 3, Vicky's former co-star Tamara Judge and Real Housewives executive producer Andy Cohen came to her defense. Andy said he hopes Vicky will find love in 2022. If Att Vinvalson doesn't find a great guy this year, it won't be a good year, Andy, 53, tweeted on Monday. She deserves it. Hashtag full love tank for Vicky. Tamara, on the other hand, took to her Instagram story to say that the Kodo Insurance CEO dodged the lodge.